Whether you're looking for some breakfast inspiration this morning, the popular dining spot, Odium, in downtown L.A. has some tasty ideas. And one of their pastry chefs stopped by this weekend to share some of her recipes. Well, spring is here, and that sometimes changes how we cook and sometimes changes what we like to eat. And joining us this morning is Allison Osorio. She is the pastry chef at Odium, which is downtown near the Broad. Yeah, right next to the Broad by the uh -huh. Walt Disney Concert Hall. Okay. If you haven't been, come say hello. Yeah, because it's a relatively new restaurant, only a couple years. Yeah, two and a half years. Okay, and being the pastry chef, that is a very cool position, but I understand that you went to study abroad. I did. I lived in France for a year and a half where I studied and I worked. It was an amazing experience. Mm -hmm. I ate croissants every morning. <laughs> I was like 50 pounds heavier, but we won't talk about that. Um, yeah, so we're talking about spring. Mm -hmm. We survived the California winter, which yes. was brutal. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. Um, uh, first thing that we're going to talk about is rhubarb is okay. the epitome of spring. We okay. know spring is here when we see rhubarb. Okay. It looks a lot like celery and it mm -hmm. has that same texture as celery, mm -hmm. but a little bit sweeter. And actually, I'm going to confess to you, I did not know what any of this was as a kid. Seasons oh. were not familiar in my household. We just knew about apples and bananas and mm -hmm. cereal. So I encourage everyone, if you haven't been to a farmer's market, please go. It's so much fun to talk to the farmers and get to know all the variety that's, mm -hmm. that's there. Mm -hmm. um, but you're actually going to make me oh. help me make uh, rhubarb pancakes. Oh, wow. Okay. We just met, but you look like a phenomenal cook. <laughs> you give me that aura. Most can be deceiving. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take all the dry ingredients. This okay. is, uh, go ahead and mix. We're going to okay. do um, flour, salt, sugar, and baking powder. We're going to okay. add eggs. Okay. To that, we're going to add oil, vanilla extract, okay. milk. We're okay. going to keep mixing. It doesn't have to be super smooth. <laughs> or neat. <laughs> no, we, we make a mess in the kitchen all the time. Okay. And then we're going to add lemon zest for a little tang. Okay. And I want to mention that the restaurant really is focusing on seasons all the time. Is that right? Absolutely. We change the menu almost every week, Ooh, depending on what's in season, what, what we find in the farmer's market. Okay. So, yeah, you'll have a different experience all the time. Okay. Um, and then lastly, we want to finish with melted butter for oh, a wow. little bit of fat. Oh. It doesn't have to be super smooth. This makes 12 pancakes. If you wanted to stretch it, like my mom had three kids, so she always <laughs> wanted to stretch everything. Mm -hmm. You can take five egg whites, whip that, and then fold in the meringue to stretch the batter. Okay. So okay. we're going to, that looks pretty good. Okay. Um, we're going to move on to our topping, okay. which is our rhubarb. Okay. Three ingredients, water. Pomegranate juice, equal parts. Put this our in. Rhubarb like this. and our sugar. Okay. This is gonna cook for eight minutes. Okay. You don't want it to get too too soggy. Okay. Because then it's gonna be a weird texture in your mouth. And does the rhubarb get bitter then too? No, it'll get sweet, and okay. the pomegranate juice will give it a rich color as well. Okay. So eight minutes. Okay. We'll take it off, and then it's gonna look like this. Okay. Um, it's very red. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to try this, but it's very. Um, Tangy and sweet, and it has like a really crunchy texture uh -oh. to it. That's all good. Um, and then with the magic of TV, this is what our pancakes look like. From Super this fluffy. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're gonna. You don't even need maple syrup. All the juices from the strawberry. I added strawberry to this, and the rhubarb is really, really awesome and bright, acidic. Mm -hmm. But if you want to add maple syrup, why not? If oh, you want to indulge. Yeah, so this is our rhubarb pancake. And what an interesting combination with the lemon and the strawberry yeah. and the rhubarb. There's a lot of flavor in that. Yeah. Um, another thing that I saw at the farmer's market was blueberries. Mm -hmm. I used to hate them as a kid, but really? I love them now. Oh. Yeah. They were little like weird creatures. I don't know. <laughs> um, a cool way to cook that is to mm -hmm. get a pot ripping hot, as hot as you can get it. Mm -hmm. This is the way we cook a lot of fruit at the restaurant. You're going to pop in your blueberries, half of them only. Okay. We're going to roast them. They're going to sizzle. Roasting blueberries. They're going to release a bunch of juices. Mm -hmm. If you want to help me, we're going to oh. add all these things. What is this? Orange blossom water, very oh. floral. Okay. We're going to add water, lemon juice. Okay. And sugar. Okay. So we're, we're going to cook this down. Okay. Maybe like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to turn deep purple, deep blue. It's going to be really, really fragrant. We're also going to add um, a little bit of lime zest. Okay. After 10 minutes, you want to add the rest of your blueberries, and it's going to just make a really wonderful jam. You can use this for your oatmeal, throw it in your peanut butter and jelly sandwich, oh. or if you want to throw it over your pancakes as well. So it turns more of like a firm jam jammy. texture. Yeah. Okay. Jammy. I just made that word Jammy. Up. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah. So this is, this is all set, but... You can make a lot of different fruits this way, mm -hmm. um, just roasting them in a really hot pot. 
So, okay. And those uh, are all the ingredients you need, and you can do yes. it with other fruits. Yes, absolutely. Peaches are coming in, nectarines. There's oh, yes. a lot of gorgeous stuff coming in right now. Okay. This yeah. all looks wonderful. Wow. And the restaurant open for lunch and dinner, but you serve brunch on... Brunch the on the weekends. We have okay. phenomenal cocktails. We have all these types of meats for dinner. It's a really fun experience. We have an open kitchen. So Ooh. if you need this recipe, you can come in. And Ask me share. for it. I'll <laughs> I love share. It. I'll give it to you. And anything else you need, we're there. I love it, Allison. Thank you so much. And for more information on Allison or the restaurant or this recipe, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and click Scene on TV.